Hi, I'm John, and I'm leading development on Scramble Battle of Britain, a tactical dogfighting game that takes place over the English Channel. Today, I'll be your flight instructor, and I will fly you through the different features and components of our game. So, welcome to flight school. This is lesson number six, dogfighting and damage modeling. Last lesson, we learned about aerobatic maneuvering, which are the building blocks of controlling your airplane. And once you have learned how to manipulate your airplane, you can use that to develop tactics to maneuver yourself in position to score a kill in a dogfight. Dogfighting and scramble is chaotic because we have a detailed damage modeling system. We model individual components and subsystems, and as they break or fail on your airplane, it'll change the capacity for your airplane to maneuver for the rest of the fight. Damage modeling is location specific for every plane, and once you start to see a plane leak white or black fluid, you know that you have a radiator leak. A radiator leak will eventually impact your engine. Your engine will produce less power, you'll have less thrust, your plane will start to lose speed. Every aircraft in Scramble has a unique aerodynamics model. And so a single engine plane, like a Spitfire or an ME-109, when they lose their engine, they'll be out of the fight, but a BF-110 has twin engines, so when it loses one engine, it'll just be able to limp home with a heavy yaw. Similarly, it has two rudders, so it can still fight and it can still yaw with some capacity. Even losing one of its rudders, it's just going to uh, swing over to the side. Thank you for joining me for lesson number six. If you'd like to learn more about damage or dogfighting in Scramble, you can visit our website, and I look forward to seeing you the next lesson.